Okay, now let us talk Fallen Angels and Their Children, the Nephilim. And what I have recently discovered is that they are trying to bring these abominations back on the earth. And that is what all of this is all about. All of this war in the Middle East is about. Because as you know, the Middle East carry a lot of dead Nephilim under the earth. And two important ones are Gil Gilgamesh and Nimrod. No, I can't see the political leaders or the religious leaders handing over the dead mummies or any usable DNA to the West anytime soon. That is something that is just not going to happen. So right about now I'm hearing everyone saying no, but the DNA cannot be used. Oh yes it can. In the 1980s, a Swedish biologist by the name of Savant Piabo he created this section of genetics known as archaeogenetics and he claimed that he got usable DNA from 23 ancient Egyptian mummies and that claim was quickly discredited and swept under the carpet. We heard nothing more about that until in the new millennium now they are saying that they can find usable DNA from the Egyptian mummy which they are using to tell these mummies ethnic background and where they came from beautiful but they're not telling the zombies and the sheep what is their main intention and explain the technology that they have now back to the Middle East these two particular dead Nephilim was wicked and extremely powerful now the technology exists and that is why there is so much war in the Middle East now I'm surprised with the Muslim community because they seems to be very late as to what is going on they are of the impression that is because of their oil or because of Islam why they keep getting attacked but they need to not get it twisted they are after the dead Nephilim in your land some you might have found some you haven't and they need to get their hands on the usable DNA. That's it. No one cares whether you got oil, whether you're rich, or the religion that you're a part of. That is just distraction. That is just to distract the sheep and the zombies. Now, if you want these DNA, how are you going to get it? You need to discredit these countries. You need to say that they've got weapon of mass destruction. You need to say that they are wicked and they are oppressive. And then you go into these countries and then another story will come out. Oh, they are in there for the oil and atrocities and crime against humanity. When at the end of the day, it was all about usable DNA from these dead mummies. And no one is talking about it. But the next part of this is when they get the DNA, they need an egg. But the egg is easy. Because there's lots of women always donating eggs because they think that they are helping couples who cannot have children. So that is the easy bit, okay? Now the next part is to get the womb. Where are they going to get the womb to bring these abominations into life? Because remember, they are doing cloning. So they're not only going to make one Gilgamesh, they can make hundreds they can make thousands of Gilgamesh and Nimrods but they first need a womb and no matter how powerful the fallen angels are that is one power they don't have and that is one thing that they had to get when they came unheard and they need females have you heard about missing children missing young people oh yes my friend we have, have we were of the opinion that it was all about blood sacrifice and organ af harvesting but there's another one in it now they need womb securities abominations no matter how um, technology have evolved they still have not been able to recreate the womb right and you need to understand that some womb is hostile it is just a mechanism that is in our body that we attack any foreign object so no matter what it is if it's alien or human fetus some of our bodies will reject the egg right so there we have this old thing with blood now you need to have the dna to see who is more compatible who can carry these abomination into life now we get in somewhere 
And that is why these countries wanted DNA. And that is why so many young people are missing. So one, they need this DNA. They need the usable DNA from the Nephilim. Two, they need to know who is compatible. And three, they need wombs. And another part of the Middle East is the fact that they were the gateway countries, which is Syria and Lebanon. Israel is under the e, the West jurisdiction, but Syria and Lebanon is not. And that is, those are the countries that the fallen angels, the 200 fallen angels, Mount Hermon is located in those countries. So that is the gateway. So we need to control the gateway and we need to get the usable DNA from these Nephilim. And the Islamic community don't see that because if they had seen it, they would have been talking about it and they would have been made aware of what is going. And there's more than one country that is involved in such dealings. They are calling it super soldiers and they will sell it as a way to protect mankind. But what it will have, what, but what will happen is our demise because these things cannot be controlled by man. It cannot be controlled by man and it took very powerful angels to kill them to destroy them and they are mixing human dna alien dna and animal dna to bring about various abomination and stealing people children to carry them to carry them what more can i say right in front of our eyes and no one is talking about it because they are none the wiser they all think it's about Islam and oil and um, they don't, simply don't like us. No, fool. No. It's all about bringing back these abominations on earth to cause chaos. It's all about destroying and distorting the most high creation. That is what it is all about. And we have to stay in prayer for our young people. We have to ask the most high for guidance and protection because these are dark, wicked times as mankind seems to destroy each other. Glory be to the most.